How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. Last week, I got an awesome care package from the bayou. My friend Tinu and I decided to team up and work together on the next addition to my wild imaginary western town. The care package included some goodies and gifts as well as the beautiful creations that will make up Tinu's Wild West Buffalo Show. A traveling show featuring a war wagon, terror bird, and a buffalo riding Tinu himself, all in glorious 1 to 70 second scale. Tinu has a channel called Craftastrophe, which is one of the most fun and characterful craft channels on YouTube. If you aren't subscribed to him yet, you should head over there and watch his half of this collaboration, and subscribe while you're at it. In Tinu's video, you will see him make this miniature Tinu on his trusty steed Brambles, as well as some other custom figures like this terror bird, Dr. Daddy's snake oil wagon, and Dr. Daddy the snake oil salesman himself, as well as some fun animations all along the way. Once I had all the miniatures unpacked and assembled, I took them outside to prime. I will come back to these later, but first I have to figure out my half of this build. This build is pretty big, and it required quite a large base to fit everything. I cut a plank of plywood to be able to fit the circus tent comfortably, and I cut a piece of paperless foam core to match that size. I also added a second piece to get it closer to the height of the rest of my town bases. Once I knew the base dimensions that I had to work with, I plotted out the positioning of the side poles. I clipped a wooden dowel down to an appropriate height, 12 times, and began creating the perimeter of the tent. Once all of those were on, I added some cross beams to span the lengths of the vertical poles to connect everything together. I then used a thicker wooden dowel to create the center pole, and I drilled a small hole in the end with my pin vise to allow me to embed a wire that will stick down into the wooden base giving this pole a little more stability. Originally, I was going to use string to connect all the corners to the center pole and support the fabric of the tent, but that definitely would have been a nightmare to assemble and far less structurally sound. So instead, I used some dowels, and that made things nice and sturdy. I also used this airbrushing turntable to make working on this thing a lot easier. One of the things that Tinu sent me in his box were these awesome rows of audience members. I constructed the frames for the bleachers on either end by using a piece of balsa wood, making it into a little A-frame. And then I glued the rows of people into groups of three till I had a full audience. Next, it was time to figure out the tent cover. I used this nice thin fabric instead of tissue, which seems to be the other popular option while making miniature tents. I started by cutting up some long thin strips to wrap around the side poles and act as the tent walls. I used super glue and super glue accelerator to quickly get the walls up and leave a nice impression of where the supports were behind the fabric. Next, I cut up a large piece of the fabric for the big top. I used the same super glue and super glue accelerator trick to wrap the fabric around the top. I then sprayed on some isopropyl alcohol and covered the fabric with matte Mod Podge to give it rigidity. I also pinched the fabric overhang in a few places and attached some strings to look like anchor points for the top. As you can see, I left the back of the diorama open in order to allow for the show to be seen within. I dry fit the crowd into place and then I stuck down some bent balsa to act as the ring. And once that was down, I covered all of the foam with a mixture of Mod Podge and acrylic paint. I covered the interior first and then I worked on the outside. I left that to dry overnight and I took the whole tent outside and I gave it a spray prime before moving on to the painting. I used some masking tape to make some wedges and mask off sections of the tent in order to create the classic alternating red and white circus pattern. The combination of airbrush and masking tape is incredibly satisfying.
There was a bit of overspray with the red, so I went back and I cleaned up all the white sections with more white paint. I also masked off and extended the red and white pattern down to the walls of the tent. And after that, I painted the base with an earthy base color. I made the earth inside the tent a tad darker than the outside color. I took more of that same fabric that the tent was made from, I covered it in Mod Podge, made a little flag to go on top of the circus tent. Also added a little ball on the top of the pole, and I moved on to the figures. I started with Tinu on his steed Brambles, and I painted him the same way that he's dressed in the animations over in his video. Like I said at the beginning, this buffalo show is a traveling show goes from town to town entertaining the locals with reenactments of what a hunt in the wild imaginary west is kinda like. The show is a little close to home and more relatable to these town folk than the people back east, but they still enjoy the show. And of course maybe they buy some snake oil before or after the show. Once I was done with the two main characters, I painted the rest of the crew off camera. The paint job for this terror bird was inspired in part by the secretary bird, another long-legged predatory bird that is slightly smaller and not extinct. And don't worry, this bird is very intelligent and it actually enjoys playing along with its co-stars. It knows that it's all for show. I then painted the custom war wagon, which was very nicely detailed, had some nice greeblies on it. I also painted the team of horses, and I glued the crew in place. It came with a harpoon gunner, a driver, and two guys riding shotgun. I also glued some reins from the driver to each of the horses, and I moved on to the snake oil wagon. The wagon has a paid armed guard who sits on the roof in case anybody tries to get a refund. I also went back and I painted the flag with a bright red, and I dusted up the ground around the tent as well as the tent itself give it some age and weathering. After I had stuck down some sand inside the ring, I glued it in place with some isopropyl alcohol and watered down glue, and I prepped some little LEDs to act as stage lights which I glued around the inside of the ring. I then put all of the audience members into their positions, and I glued the show together. I also glued the snake oil exhibition outside and I began adding some custom posters that were sent to me by Tinu, designed by his wife. After I had cut out a few of the posters using an X-Acto knife, I peeled off the backing from the sticker paper and I stuck some of them to the side of the tent Then I also went into town and did some advertising on the buildings. At the beginning of the month, I was in New Orleans and had dinner with Tinu and his wife, and they sent me home with this awesome gift. This is an original of one of those little posters made by McGuire Art, as well as the official poster for the Tinu Buffalo Show made by Adam Bartley. I took this awesome poster, I honey, I shrunked the kids did, and I attached some posts to the back, and I went and I glued it outside the venue. The last thing to do was to paint the sides of the diorama with black 3.0, and I called it good.
That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again to my friend Tinu for collaborating with me on this build. Please go watch his video and subscribe to him while you're at it. And watch a few of his other videos as well. Huge thanks as always to my patrons. You guys are the best. Have an awesome week everyone. I'll see you next time.